everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's Boxing Day as I filmed this, but I don't know how punctual I'm going to be with uploading this, but yesterday was Christmas, so I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. And today I'm going to film a What I Got for Christmas video. I did one of these last year as well, and I really enjoy watching them, so I thought I'd do it again this year and like maybe make it like an annual thing as well. Um, I'm going to have to do the disclaimer as usual. I'm not doing this video to brag about what I got or anything like that, because... Um, I don't know, if you're anything like me, I, I guess as you get older, it's not really like the whole, I'm not really into getting presents. It's not like I don't appreciate presents, but it's like, I feel like once you get older, you kind of just like, you don't really expect anything anymore. So it's like, I am the type of person that actually really enjoys giving presents and like the whole trying to find a present and getting like the creative ideas to make a present personal is what I really enjoy about Christmas. So I think it's the whole process of gift giving and exchanging gifts that really, really makes like my Christmas. So yeah, so I'm not bragging in any way. This is just, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, so this Christmas I actually spent it with my closest friends and my parents were also here, which is really, really great and wonderful. Um, um, I haven't really thought about how I'm going to do this. Okay, let's get straight to the video, but I think I'm going to group them by like who gave me what. So I'm going to start with this jumper which if you were watching my Instagram stories because I did Instagram uh, quite a bit of my day um, <laughs> we did spend it at home and it was kind of like a really chill day and we were watching movies, we watched Doctor Who, we watched Victoria and um, we also cooked a really big Christmas feast so we were just like munching on that throughout like lunch and dinner we were just eating the whole day basically but it was the most perfect Christmas and it was so much fun um, yeah you might have seen on my Insta stories um, this jumper and it's this one's from my mum and it was one of the first gifts and it's actually the only gift that I kind of knew about like the rest were complete surprises but this one I had said um, when she arrived in London I was like pointing it out to her and I was like I really like that shrimp sweater um, it's by shrimps but it's an exclusive with Selfridges so you can only get it on the Selfridges website or uh, in store and I was talking about it and I was like, oh yeah, but it's sold out online and stuff like that. And the next day I did see that she was carrying a Selfridges bag home. So I kind of knew that she had gotten, got, got, bleh, bleh, <laughs> that she had gotten me this. And um, yeah, so this is, um, I, ha I think they have two jumpers um, in collaboration with Selfridges. So this one's the Leon one. And they also have one from the Wes Anderson film, The Royal Tenenbaums. But... Um, yeah, that one's cream and this one's like this blush pink one, but I love Leon, it's one of my favourite movies and it's really cute, it's got like the embroidered patches of Leon, Matilda and the plant and yeah, roll neck perfect winter jumper and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this and I never want to take this off, so yeah, you might have seen my first present from mum. Um, the second thing was she would gotten me this like stocking, so I was pulling stuff out and I pulled out this memory card and I was like, oh! Um, that's really, really handy actually, Mum. Like, how did you know to get me a memory card? Because I'm always, like, misplacing them, and as a blogger, I always need, like, one memory card in my vlogging camera, one in my DSLR. <laughs> um, otherwise, um, if I'm constantly switching memory cards, I forget, and then I don't want to be leaving the house without a memory card. So I was like, this is actually really handy, Mum. And she's like, no, that's not the actual present, but it just comes with it. Because Mum knows nothing about cameras and, like, technology and stuff like that, so she'd ask the salesperson. And then, apparently, when I dug inside the stocking, she'd actually gotten me a new camera. And it's this red camera. And, um, honestly, I don't know anything about this, because I haven't, like, um, <laughs> paid attention to, like, the newest, um, uh, the newest, not brands, the newest models, um, to come out and stuff like that. But I always use Canon, just because that's what I'm familiar with. I know how to use it and stuff like that. And, um... My last power shot was the Canon S120. And I do get a lot of questions from people actually what I use to take my selfies with celebrities and stuff like that. And it's the Canon power shot S120. And I've had that for absolute ages. And um, I've dropped mine and stuff like that. And the screen is cracked and it still works fine. Um, but it's a really handy camera if you want um, quick photos. But it's a lot sharper than the iPhone. But it's pretty quick. I mean, there's no depth of field or anything like that. But um, the flash is good as well for night time and it's quite clear and it's quite good with like shaking as well. It doesn't um, get blurry really easily. Um, but yeah, so she got me this, which is the 
Canon PowerShot SX720HS. Now, I don't know how many models newer this is than the S120 um, because I haven't been paying attention, but um, yeah, apparently she said it was the newest model because she was asking the lady. I think she must have got this in Singapore or something like that. So that's really cool. I mean, um, it looks, it feels a lot lighter than my last one actually, which is good and probably to be expected because, you know, they're getting better and better at making these cameras, but um, it's got a flash too, I think, that'll just come out. Yeah, okay. So yeah, basically it's an upgrade to my selfie taking camera, which I'm really excited to try out. And I guess she got me this red color because um, if you know, like in Asia and stuff like that, people say red is a lucky color. So if you have Asian parents, they probably want to get you everything in red. <laughs> Am I right? But yeah, so I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I think I'll test it out on like a, a random person first, obviously, not the celebrity I really like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Winky's sitting up short, she's like, test it out on me first, yeah. I don't want it to be like not working and I meet like my favorite person ever. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, that was two presents from my mum, which was really amazing. And she did um, also stick in um, some jewellery. And I've never heard of this brand, Nina's, but she stuck in this necklace and matching earrings, which I really like because they're like the bauble ones that remind me of the Dior ones. And it's gold and silver, which is great because, you know, I really, I'm really annoying about like mixing metals. And I'm always like, no, I can't wear gold if I've got silver on. And if you've got... If you got something with both of them, then it's like um, a lot easier to match things, I think. And she also got me some earrings from Country Road, which is a brand from Australia. I don't think... I think they're only in Australia, but it just makes me kind of think about my childhood and when I used to live there. And it's this rose gold pair with the kind of like natural looking gemstones, which is also really pretty. So yeah, that, a lot of presents from my mum. Well, I guess it's a joint present. Every year it's a joint present from my mum and dad, because dad never knows what to get me. Um, but to be fair, I am quite, I feel like I'm quite a hard person to shop for because I'm like, I never know what I want kind of thing. And I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm a hard person to shop for. So they did really well this year. I'm really, really um, happy about that. Okay, next present we're going to move on to is from Winky. I'm sure you all know Winky. Um, she's like sitting off camera right now. Um, she's the crazy one in my vlogs, a lot of people have said. Um, this year, she got me this really amazing jewellery box. It looks like this. Um, well, I guess you could store other things inside. Um, I think this would be good for like lipsticks and stuff too. Um, but it's so pretty because it's got like this print on it, which is sort of like an antique map sort of print. Which I really, really like. I've never seen anything like that before. So it's like glass and I guess I'll show you close up so you can see like little cutaways. Um, yeah, so she got me this, which is always good because I always um, have uh, new rings and stuff like that and not enough storage to put them in. So this is always good. I need um, the extra storage space. And then the other thing she got is this fluffy robe, which I love and I need for winter because basically in winter time, I'm just wearing pajamas all the time and it's really really cold here and I'm one of those people that like never turns on the central heating because I'm like no I'll be fine and then I just sit there shivering so at home this is really great for me um, to lounge in and actually my dad was saying that he wants one now because it's obviously it's really cold and my parents are from Singapore so they're not used to this weather so it's like yeah this is really great fleecy oh I, don't, I didn't even realize is it okay it's from loungeable and it's got stars on it and her reasoning to get this was that I had star print pajamas so basically I could match like the entire constellation with star print pajamas. The final present from Winky is one that you probably saw on my Instagram stories as well but it is this photo frame which is in the shape of a, like a sort of a carousel thing and the coolest thing ever is she's inserted these photos from the shape of water. I pretty much squealed when I opened it because there's like there's the posters from it, there's even Guillermo del Toro, there's Doug Jones, there's me and my cosplay that Guillermo and Doug liked and retweeted, which is like made my year basically. And there's my favorite photo of Doug and Sally from the premiere and the three of them. And basically like I know a lot of people know how obsessed I am with this film. I think it's pretty much become my favorite film ever. And I can't wait until it gets the official release on Valentine's Day next year because I can't believe the UK have to wait that long. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen it already and you, you are somewhere where the film's playing, please go, go and see it because I can guarantee that you'll love it. It's the most beautiful film I've ever seen in my life. 
Um, I think this is annoying and rattling, but I'll do a close-up anyway. But basically, these three people are like my holy trinity at the moment, and I have this question actually from someone saying like, which celebrity do you plan on meeting next? And I don't know, it's one of those things when someone asks me, I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? Because I don't really like plan things ahead, I'm not that um, type of person that like knows exactly what I'm going to do and who I'm going to meet kind of thing and the other thing is I have met a lot of the people that I really like anyway so it's always like a second meeting or a third meeting you know I'm that type of person so um I said that I didn't know but now I do know because these three people I've not met yet and I'm going to make it my mission this year to meet three of them so check back to see if I've achieved that because I want to meet the people that made my favorite film possible basically so yeah this is really cool um, and uh, yeah I hope it'll happen because this year if I've uploaded it on time in 2017 basically I said that I was gonna meet Finn Wolfhard and he was the uh, main person that I hadn't met yet that I really wanted to meet and that dream came true so I think this will this is my um, bucket list not bucket list but these are basically the three people that I really want to meet in 2018 and I'm gonna make it happen so check back to see that <laughs> um, yeah so that was everything from Winky thanks to her moving on to my friend Emily who got me this mug which you might have seen again in my Instagram stories but it's got a print of 11 on it this art print and it says she's our friend and she's crazy which basically I think she's trying to tell me that I'm crazy but I already knew that so that's why um, I have so many mugs and I swear Emily gets me a mug every single year but they're always useful um, I am a huge coffee and tea drinker so yeah and I've, I've already used this so I had to like quickly wash it before the video so it didn't look too gross but yeah that's the first present from her and then another thing she got me was this book because she works at Waterstones so it's really handy actually she gets half price off any book um, she wants and yeah the staff discounts are really great and so you probably can expect a book from Emily but she is so thoughtful like um, she got my parents um, a book as well and it's always like the book that my parents were really really hard to shop for so and they really appreciated the book she got her uh, she got them so um yeah even though um you probably expect a book from emily it's a book that you will love and it's like perfect for you so this year she got me london theaters which is um um i haven't looked through the entire thing but it's basically it's got details on like all the main theaters in london probably all of them actually maybe even the smaller ones but you can see this which is the Sam Wanaka Playhouse at Shakespeare's Globe, which is on the cover as well. And um, if you know me, I love going to the theatre. And I really appreciate architecture as well. So this, um, mainly London theatres are like really old and style um, theatres, right? But it's so pretty to look at and the photography is really nice. So it's a coffee table book that I can't wait to go through. She said she was going to get me... Um, the Shape of Water, like the art book, but it's not out yet in the UK, obviously, because the movie's not out till February. But she got me this instead, which is my oh, new Wimbledon theatre. I've never been to that theatre before. Next, maybe they'll show me where all the stage doors are. Oh my god, this is so pretty! Hidden gems. Okay, I can't wait to go through that. Okay, that's really cool. So, yeah, that's one from Emily. And the final thing she got me is. T-shirt from Redbubble and it is the Shape of Water poster, the first original poster so not the one where they're floating in the water, it's the artwork by James Jean Art and it's so beautiful and again I think I'm new to this thing but I think I missed the part where t-shirt transfers have gone like really soft and the ink because when I was younger they used to be, if you wanted to print your own t-shirt kind of thing you used to be like um, what are they called? They're not the iron-on ones, but they're like really sticky and stiff and even if you get them on black, especially if you get them on black fabric, it's really stiff and annoying and you can tell that it's like handmade or you've asked someone to customize print it. But now it's really soft and you can't tell. It looks like an actual like shop t-shirt kind of thing, you know? It's so soft. So I can't wait to wear this one. I want to wear it today, but it's like not exactly t-shirt weather. And I want to wear this. So it's <laughs> I can't decide, but I love this so much. This is my favorite artwork ever 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 um yeah so that's from emily thank you emily 
if you're watching this and um, is this the final present? Oh, okay. Okay, we got to the final present, which is from my friend Yoon. And oh, she, she wanted to remain one of us. <laughs> um, we'll see if I put that in or not. Sorry, Yoon, if I said that. But honestly, she's so like, um, she's always like, oh my god, I feel really bad. I didn't get you like a, a big present or anything like that. But I'm like, Yoon, it doesn't matter. It's a thought that counts. And it's like really true. Like, I never expect anything like fancy or anything like that so it's like the fact that she thought of something um to give me is like the best thing anyway and she got me this really really cool music box actually i don't know what she was like talking about i was scared of that it wasn't a big enough present because it's so pretty and a piano obviously if you don't know i play piano but you probably know because i'm always playing piano <laughs> on my instagram stories and stuff like that and this music box Place for Elise. Um, and if you didn't know, which you probably didn't, for Elise was actually maybe like the first song that I learned to play on the piano. Um, the first proper song. The first song I uh, ever learned was probably like Old MacDonald Had a Farm or something like that. Um, but the first proper song was for Elise, and now I can't even remember how to play it anymore. But yeah, it just takes me back to my childhood days because I used to play for Elise and practice all the time, and it's so pretty. It's a grand piano. Um, something I hope to own one day. <laughs> My dream. And it's got, yeah, the little record thing. It's really pretty anyway. Um, now I don't know what to do because it's gonna play in the background forever, right? <laughs> but, um, okay, let me hold it. <laughs> but it's fine because that wraps up the video anyway and that's everything I got on Christmas Day. Um, yeah. I don't know whether I'll get any more presents. Um, I'm grateful for everything I got so far and I had a really really fun Christmas so um, yeah thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. Um, let me know what your favorite present that you got was for Christmas. Um, yeah um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel if you're new and you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Nice. <laughs>